Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crop an image in Word. So I'm just starting out here with this simple image. And the first thing I'm going to do is just copy and paste it. So we'll keep the original image. So Command or Control C, Command or Control V to copy and paste. And then I'm going to go up to this picture format tab up here. Now, if this doesn't appear in your tabs, it's because your picture hasn't been selected. So if I click off, you can see that that tab disappears. And once I select the image, then this tab reappears. So just click on that and this ribbon will appear. Now in here is the crop tool. Now if we just click on crop, what you'll see is that these black markers appear at the edges of your image. And once you click and drag these markers, they will simply move so that you can crop your image wherever you like. So for example, if I just wanted to make this into quite a long image, then I can do that. And once you're finished, just hit the enter key. So that's a really simple way to crop your image, but there'll be lots of instances where you'll need to crop your image to a certain ratio or a shape. So again, if I just copy and paste this image, and then again, make sure I'm on picture format, go along to crop and click on the drop down, and then go down to aspect ratio. And here you'll see a number of different ratios that you can choose from. Now, obviously the most common one we use at the moment for Instagram and other things is this square crop here. So just click on one to one. And again, the markers will appear. But the beauty of this tool is that if you just click in the center of this square and drag, you can just move that square wherever you like on your image. And of course, if you go to the corner, you can resize it. However, if you need it to stay as a square, then you need to hit the shift key as you click and drag. So click on the corner, hit the shift key, and as you drag, you'll see that your ratio or your square remains a perfect square. And then once you're happy, you can just simply move it over the area that you want to crop, and then once you're happy, just press enter. And there you have your square crop. So the next thing you can do is crop your image to a shape. Now again, go back up to picture format and along to crop, but there's a couple of things that you need to know about cropping to a shape. So if I just go ahead and select this shape, what you'll see is that Word will crop to the ratio of your image. So if you wanted this to be a perfect circle, we actually have to turn this image into a one-to-one -one shape first. Otherwise, it will just simply crop to the dimensions of your image. Again, let me just quickly show you that if I go up to another shape, let's say, I'm sorry, it's not on the screen, but this shape here, again, it will look a little bit elongated because it's cropped to the ratio of your original image. Now you can push and pull this if you want to, but again, it's fine to a certain degree, but it starts to distort the things in your image, particularly if you're dealing with faces and people. So the first thing that we need to do is to crop this to one to one again. So again, go up to crop, aspect ratio, one to one, and just quickly move that over, press okay, and we've got our one to one ratio. Then go back up to crop, crop to shape, select the shape you want, This, in this case a circle, and there you can see it's a perfect circle. And then you can just move it around as you wish. And just one more time, if we go down, crop to shape, sorry, crop to aspect ratio, and then enter, crop, crop to shape, and then we have that perfect shape. And again, we can still resize these if we want to. You can pull and push them as much as you need to. And then just very quickly, how to align your images. So let's just say we wanted these images to be uh, lined up along the edge here. Let's say we wanted these two to be aligned. 
If you select your circle, hit the command or control key and click the square. Then again, ensure you're on this picture format tab. Then go on to the alignment tool here, click on the drop down and then select align to center. And as you can see, it's aligned these two images up to the center boxes here. Now, of course, you can line them up to the left or the right, but this has allowed you to align them to the center. And once again, you can do that horizontally. So again, select the right hand image, hit the command or control key, hit the left hand image, go up to align, click on the drop down. Of course, you can select from any of these and then I'm going to align to middle. And again, that's just line those two up to the center squares. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.